Namaste beloveds, I'm Alana Fairchild and I'm so excited to share with you the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle Velvet Goddess Edition. So it's kind of substantial and <laughs> when I wrote the first edition of this I was so excited to find the artist and his work just reminded me of, here's a sample of it, of A naughty Kuan Yin and when I emailed my publisher and showed him the artwork I said this reminds me of a mischievous Kuan Yin who is kind of naughty but in a good way breaking rules and sort of wild and I'd like to write another Kuan Yin offering uh, can we call it wild Kuan Yin and the artist was keen to participate and this beautiful project was born but what you'll see because this is the guidebook it's a little a couple of extra bits um, but from the first edition it's enormous it's like you know, it's 292 pages so it's it's basically a book and I remember when the first edition came out this beautiful human wrote to me and said that she likes to curl up with a cup of tea and read it um, <laughs> her messages but read it just like a book so she sits down and goes through it's like teachings of the divine feminine so that's the the guidebook and then the cards themselves in this new Velvet Goddess edition have this little velvet like pouch that holds them, which is good because my cards tend to fly around all over the place. Uh, and why don't we choose a card for today and just see? Oh, there it is. Oh, I feel like we need this on the planet at the moment. So it's her hand gentles the war. That's our card for, for today. And it's really about the power of the Divine Feminine in being able to obstruct the flow of negativity and allow that tension, whether it's war in the world or war within ourselves, even a sense of conflict in our relationships or our own life path, maybe with com a sense of competing demands, for example. Um, but that feeling that the Divine Feminine can actually be the... The element of peace that allows for something new to emerge from that so rather than getting stuck in the conflict we have this feeling of the tension allowing us to realize it's neither this way nor that way there's actually a new creative way that's opening up for us and may all beings have that release and that clarity at the perfect time in the perfect way so the reason we decided to do this edition was because after the first edition came out, I decided to write a shorter version that, in case you didn't have time to curl up with a cup of tea and read the guidebook, and I was thinking particularly of the many people that use uh, my decks for doing readings for other people. So I thought I would write an edition for um, people who wanted to use the deck for reading. So there's a section in that, the second edition, which has the blue cover and it's actually this artwork on the cover of the second edition um, and it was kind of easy for that purpose and then we had lots of love for that and then we were getting requests for the original because people couldn't find it anymore and I remember one woman um, emailed me and just said that she was desperate to find it and it wasn't available so I just actually sent her my own copy um, I think she was in Norway from memory it was a little while ago uh, but that seemed to make her happy so I didn't have one anymore <laughs> um, and we were getting requests for the original full size people were craving I think the depth and the substantialness so we we hopefully have given them what they've asked for <laughs> in this thing and it, it doubles as an exercise tool because because <laughs> it's so heavy I hope that if you are connected to this and if it feels like it's resonating for your heart that it, it brings you closer to the Divine Mother in all of her grace and beauty and glory uh, that's the reason that I wrote it because I love her so much and she loves you so much uh, she loves humanity and I've always been struck by Kuan Yin's generosity and kindness and softness and yet so powerful and so able to hold the space for us to find peace and serenity on our path even when we're going through incredibly difficult times so 
I hope it nurtures your soul. So much love from my heart to yours, dear ones. Namaste.